Hey guys, how are you everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Latin Mass Mama. Okay, so today I want to talk about the sor Rosary of the Seven Sorrows. So today is the feast day of Our Lady of the Seven Sorrows. Um, sorry, this is backwards, <laughs> but I'm going to put all of the information down below in the description. Um, so in case most of you don't know, it's a traditional um, like feast day in the church where we, we celebrate it. And where to, and I'm going to explain where it comes from. So this devotion, it's a devotion, goes back to the Middle Ages. But recently, the church has approved Marian apparition. So it's a church-approved Marian apparition in Quehebo, Rwanda in the um, 1980s. And in her apparition, Our Lady of Quehebo recommended that people pray um, the rosary or chaplet of the seven sorrows to obtain the favor of repentance. So again, it's very consistent with the Fatima message of praying for the conversion of sinners, um, especially in the world that we live in today. And um, to meditate on the mysteries of the rosary to pray it daily. Usually the um, seven sorrows is prayed on Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, and also, again, the message of the need for mortification, um, spirit of repentance, humility, and sacrifice, and to, you know, bear our sufferings, to offer those sufferings to God. Um, and also that, you know, acts of charity to the poor um, helps, you know, make us kind of like beautiful flowers, you know. So God really appreciates that when we're generous with other people um, other than ourselves. So I'm going to go through the seven sorrows. And how to pray that. Um, so the first one would be to make the sign of the cross. So it's you would take a rosary, okay, and you would make the sign of the cross with at the beginning, and you would say the introductory prayer on this first bead right here, and an act of contrition. And then after that, you would say three Hail Mary. So these three beads there, in honor of the tears of our late, our sorrowful mother. Um, and then you would announce the first sorrowful, or I should say, announce the first sorrow and then say the Our Father. Um, and then basically, you would just pray or meditate, say the seven Hail Marys while meditating on that sorrow, and there's only seven. So you would just use kind of like one of the decades for that, for this devotion. Um, and then... On the middle one, um, you would say, um, it's kind of like a prayer, most merciful mother, remind us always about the sorrows of your son Jesus, or you could say the glory be. And you would kind of repeat that on, for each of the sorrows. And when you continue with the third through the seventh in, in the same manner, and then the ending prayer, which would be, Kind of like over here, kind of come back to this beginning, can say the Queen of Martyrs prayer um, and you would conclude with Mary who was conceived without sin um, and suffered for us, pray for us, and you would say that um, three times. Okay, so let me go through the seven sorrows. So the first one is the prophecy of Simon and this goes back to Luke chapter 2 um, verse 22 to 35. Um, when Simon, who's a prophet, um, was given um, this mission, I want to say, by God, where he wouldn't die until he saw the Messiah. And once he saw the Messiah, he can he was you know able to kind of rest in peace. And so if you go to that scripture verse, you'll see it um, in there. Okay, the second one is the flight into Egypt. Okay, and this is from Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 to 15. And this is when Mary and Joseph had to flee into Egypt when Jesus was a little child. I probably, I think around two. Um, because Herod, who was really bad, a king, was going out and, and killing the, all the children under the Egypt, or up to two years old, under the Egypt too, for fear that they would, that somebody among those children would become a king and overrule him. Um, so they had to fly into Egypt and they lived there for a while and then returned back to, I believe it was Nazareth. Um, so that is the second um, sorrow. Um, the third one is the loss of Jesus in the temple. So this is around when Jesus is around 12. Um, and this refers back to Luke 2, verse 41 to 51. Um, they were celebrating a feast in the Holy City. 
and it was a three-day feast and assuming that Jesus was was with one of the caravans or with people um, he was lost and he was actually in the temple preaching and learning from the elders um, and so that um, fear um, I think that's every parent's worst fear that you know their child's gone missing for especially like three days and they can't be found so the, so the finding or loss of Jesus in the temple was a great sorrow for our mother Mary. Um, the fourth one, me, Mary meets Jesus on the way to Calvary. So this is during his passion. Um, so again, refers to Luke chapter 23, verse 27 to 31. That agonizing pain, um, knowing that her son is suffering in the worst way possible, but the hope that he will have that resurrection. Um, so that's the fourth um sorrow the fifth one is mary stands at the foot of the cross so this is john chapter 19 25 to 27 and um the sixth sorrow mary receives the dead body of jesus so john chapter 19 38 to 40 and then the seventh sorrow is jesus laid in the tomb when she buries her son and that is john chapter 19 41 um, to 42. So that's the seven sorrows of Mary um, in a nutshell. I will write it in the description so this way you can follow it as well as the prayers. Um, I hope that this kind of gave you an overview of this beautiful devotion which I am going to start praying even though today's the feast day. Um, but it, again, can be prayed on Tuesdays and Fridays. And I think it's just a great way to kind of get into that habit to then be able to pray the actual rosary um, full circle every day. And I'll make another video on the rosary. It's in in stage of, of being made. So um, if you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I do more videos. And you can also go into my photography page and support my work um, there as well. And share this video with your friends and family to get just the message out um, of this, the Rosary of the Seven Sorrows. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.